I got the world record in Gunblood with Python. Gunblood is a shooter game that requires fast reflexes and a great hand-to-eye coordination, or should I say mouse pointer to eye coordination. I saw this video titled, I am the greatest Gunblood player to ever exist. And to that I say no, I am the greatest Gunblood player to ever exist, and I got the receipts. So as a software engineer, of course I'm not gonna play the game, I'm gonna make a bot that will play the game for me. Gunblood has 9 shootout rounds and 4 bonus rounds, the shootout rounds are reflex tests, where you have to hold your revolver for 3 in-game seconds and then shoot the opponent, and you have to be quick enough. The bonus rounds contain a variety of different challenges that I will get to later in the video. Let's choose our gunslinger and start the first round. Alright, so I hover over the chamber, and then I shoot. That was easy, let's try to automate this. The way I wanna approach this is by using a bot to hold the mouse on the chamber for some time and then shoot directly on the enemy gunslinger. I'm gonna create a shootout.py file and use pyautogy to click the screen. The bot clicks the start round button, waits for 1.72 seconds and then shoots directly at the opponent's head. Now let's see the difference with the bot. And I got a perfect score. These guys don't stand a chance against me. And the next round is also a shootout round, so we're just gonna send this guy packing. Now this is the first bonus round we have here. The green guy will throw bottles at us and we need to shoot the bottles as fast as we can. We want to get the perfect score of 40 here. There's different ways to automate this. We can try template matching, using masking, drawing contours and checking for different colors in different places. Or I can just determine where the bottle is being thrown with this simple script, then invite a bot to shoot at the places where the bottle will be. As you can see I'm shooting at the lowest possible point since the throws are random. And let's see how this works. It looks like the last bottle is not shot, but we shot so precisely that the animation continues even though the bottle is counted. I know that the bottle is shot because we have the perfect 40 score here. The next two rounds are shootout rounds, so we do the same and send these two guys to the afterlife. Now the second bonus round is this guy balancing bottles, and we have to hit all the bottles without hurting him as fast as we can. This can be automated by just clicking on the bottles, but he is moving and because of his movement we don't know when to shoot. But since I have an IQ of 300, I found a way around this. At the start of the round, he always has the same animation which starts from the same place. That means when we click next round button, at that exact point his animation will start playing and based on that I can determine where to shoot. So let's just create a simple bot that will click on the exact places at the exact start of the round. Into the mouth. Nice. The next rounds are also shootout rounds so you know where we're sending these guys. This is the third bonus round. In this round we have to shoot these pigeons as fast as we can. This is not difficult for a human, but automating this is gonna be a pain because the birds are not only flying in random directions, they have random starting positions and they have random speed. So what I try to do here is template match them. I got a screenshot of the game and then took a screenshot of the bird. We can now use Python OpenCV library to check if any other birds are in the area and shoot them. But there is a problem. The birds are moving, which means if we shoot where we found the bird, it's not gonna be there anymore. So we have to add some kind of motion detection. And at that point, I started thinking, why spend 30 hours automating this when I can manually do it in 15 minutes. Anyway, I started blasting. Bam! And good, we got that out of the way. Two more guys to shoot. You know where they're going. Now for the final bonus round. It's pretty uneventful if you ask me. The instructor guy throws knives at us and of course we have to shoot them. But I didn't want to have the same implementation as with the bottles because it's going to be boring. So I made this little script where we check for him to swing his hand right here and then shoot a bullet above his head. That means that there will be an exact moment where the bullet and knife collide. I'm using MSS to grab the screenshot since it's really fast. We check for the pixel behind his head to be the color that we need to shoot. And now we have to test this round. Now we're on to the final battle. This is what we have trained for. I'm just kidding, we're just gonna run the script and shoot this bastard. Now that I have the world record, I'm just gonna write Tenacity Easy here, because I'm the best Gunblood player, and I'll see you next time, ladies and mentalgen.